We, uh, we're near Invermere and we're driving up to Lucier Hot Springs. Um, we might bring along this big hunk of beef with us. Hey, man. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, Mr. Cow. You want to come to the hot springs? Nah? The grass looks pretty good. Oh, okay. Good shot. Moo -hoo -hoo. So we can take it outside. So we're waking up in uh, in, in Creston, BC. It's around 7.30 or something in the morning. Um, last night we thought we had a good spot to sleep, but it turned out being a bad spot. I'll show you where we slept and then I'll tell you what happened. So here's where we slept. Classic. School on one side. Someone's front ear on the other. So last night, I need to find my shorts here ASAP. Don't know what side I put them on. Um, where the heck are my shorts? I'm walking around, walking around in my underwear on the side of the street right now. I do look homeless. So yeah, this is where we slept. And uh, and last night we we thought we were gonna sleep at the the bottom one first there. Look. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. We slept at the, uh, we slept at the, vi we thought, oh, we're going to sleep at the visitor center again because that worked so good the night before, which it did. Not in, not in Creston, and it, we were in, uh, or not in Creston, the visitor center in uh, Rossland was perfect. And they had designated, uh, they had designated visitor parking, so we're like, okay, perfect. We'll sleep at the, uh, in the visitor parking. We park, we sleep. It even said RV parking. And then at about 11, a train rolled by, we're kind of asleep, and there was all this howling and screaming. And two, uh, two dudes look like they, uh, two dudes that look like they, uh, two dudes that look like they live there. Um, homeless, homeless maybe, or just hanging out really late. We're like screaming and kind of getting a little close to the truck, so it was a little uncomfortable. So I woke, woke Laura up and I was like, let's go. Let's, uh, we probably should move spots. I'm not really feeling this area and we open the back of the truck and the guy is like standing six feet Laura goes he's staring at me and I'm like what do you mean he's staring at you she opens the back of the truck and there's this guy standing there kind of wobbling around just staring at us as we open the back of the truck like right in there so I get out say hey man how you doing we chat with him for a bit he apologizes about waking us up but he was uh he was a little uh a little loopy um definitely had a, a strong buzz going and I kind of chatted with him for a bit Slightly aggressive type guy, um, super loud, and then we just kind of got in the car, drove off, and found this beautiful spot to sleep. We, uh, we're near Invermere, and we're driving up to Lucier Hot Springs. Um, we might bring along this big hunk of beef with us. Hey, man. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, Mr. Cow. You want to come to the hot springs? Nah? The grass looks pretty good. Oh. Okay. Good shot. Moo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> good shot, pal. Catch you later. No, I'm impressed. Not impressed, he doesn't want to come to the hot springs. Well, it is 35 degrees out. Oh, here's another one. Oh, hey. How you doing, bud? Oh, it's kind of cute. Got one more. One more. Third friend coming to the hot springs. Maybe he'll want to come. Hey, bro. Free ride to the hot springs? <laughs> He's not impressed. Hot springs, free ride. Got some grass in the back, roll it up. Nope. No, they prefer to eat it. Yeah. All right, <laughs> on we go. We're right along the cliff here on the right side. This is just straight down be a tumble down to your death. This is absolutely horrifying. Yeah, it's pretty horrifying. So we're at the uh, the White Swan Lake Provincial Park and we drove the road 17K. Now we're at the Lucier River Hot Springs to check them out. These will actually be the first um, hot springs I've ever, I've ever gone to myself. I've always wanted to check out some hot springs. 
always ideally wanted to check out hot springs in the winter time you know go in there with the toque whatever get that whole thing going but uh better you know better to go than never go in the winter so gonna check them out and uh and hopefully we can bathe in some like river water and hot water we're gonna see what happens i got no idea i haven't even looked at a picture or anything um, i don't know what to expect here it looks like there's a fair amount of people so won't be remote or anything which should still be a fun time it's all well looks well maintained so it'll be interesting maybe we'll be sharing this hot spring with like 30 people in like a little spring i'm not sure if it's big i'm not sure if it's small but there's about three pools oh three you, pools. You, you know about this okay three pools yeah cool. and it's right next to a river nice and i think one uh, pool can go up to 109 degrees 109 yeah so like hotter Whoa. than a hot tub oh wow so here are the hot springs three different pools one two three and the river running beside it all right this is the the ice cold one it's not super cold but it's like river water and then we're gonna go into the really hot one oh. you can lay in this one it's actually pretty comfortable on a hot day like today and we're gonna go back it all smells kind of like poo it's sulfur but it smells a bit like poo I'm gonna head over to the hotter one. Oh. All right. I mean, it's gonna be even hotter now. I know, it's gonna feel great. It's cold to hot though. This is the one that goes up to 109, you said? Yeah. 109. Oh, oh. Burns a little bit. Oh. I just hate the smell of sulfur. Smells like eggs, but this is nice. It's like a cool winter's day. Almost like I'm here alone, but I'm not. <laughs> Coming in? Uh, no. Nah. Ooh, it's pretty unbelievable that uh, huh? that water, natural water, can get this hot. It's crazy. Pretty much a full on hot tub. I ain't complaining. Even on a hot day. Going from hot, Laura didn't, Laura didn't go into the hot, but she's gonna go into the medium. Now I'm slowly cooling off. I wanna do the fast cool off. Ooh. That's so weird. It's so weird, it's hot right here. And then I'm gonna go do the fast cool off and then come back in here and I'll meet you. Fast cool off in the river. Ooh. That's my speed. Right at home. Oh, yeah. We'll go meet Laura back in the other one. Probably medium temp. Finish with that. Oh. It's like I'm at the Scandinavia, Scandinavian spa. This is warm. This is nice. Is it down? Yeah, Laura's in a little hot nook there. This is like medium temp. This one's like probably 80, 85. That top one is crazy, crazy yeah. fun. Lots of people here, so good to, good to chat, mess around. Lots of people to watch me filming myself, which is always fun, but you know, it's good. The river water felt really good. Coming in here is kind of a middle, yeah? Comes right out of that top one. This, this is super cool. So it would be really fun in the winter, eh? That hot one up there. Really so cool in the winter. Yeah. Or even like October. How does it feel? Really nice. Never see her in the water for this long again. Oh, she was so warm right there. <laughs> on my head. It's like freezing at my feet, but so warm on my head. It's so weird. Nice. Review of the hot springs? Really nice. Uh, yeah, better than I thought, honestly. A little crowded, but. Yeah, it was. That's it. That was everyone, expected. yeah, everyone there was super chill. It was the middle of the summer, but it was awesome. Like the the coldest one, 
It was pretty cold. The river was about the same temp as the coldest one. And the it's medium. Like really pretty with the river and the rock. Oh, yeah. Pools. Yeah, and the medium one, you could just chill in. And then that hot one, I sat so in for a while. Hot. I'm feeling a little bit dizzy, which is great before we drive down this. Uh, oh. But it wasn't that crazy of a road. This one section is just kind of looks a little more haywire on the left. But yeah, that hot one was hot. So hot. And I imagine if it was even colder outside, like. I feel even hotter. Oh, yeah, it would be crazy. But that's fun, yeah. If you're ever driving down the highway and you can shoot it. off, it's, worth it's definitely worth it. That's pretty cool. If I could do it again, which we could, if we felt like it, I think late night could be fun or really early morning, like obscure time, like 5 a.m. and you know you'll have it to yourself, right? It would be a lot of fun. But either way, super, Thanks super positive it. experience with my first. Uh, Ever hot springs definitely beats uh, those man made ones. Sweet. Head back on the road. We're getting closer to Cranbrook and we stopped in uh, Myria, I think it's called. Moye? Uh, Moye? Moye? M O Y I E. And we're at the Moye Lake. Um, it's complete chaos. Loads of people there. It's a Monday, so the summer, summer vacation is in full swing. Um, we're making, uh, water's really warm though. We're making some, uh, some just delicious cold cut sandwiches, sandwiches for lunch. And uh, probably gonna have another swim and then keep heading down the road. The smoke is definitely cleared up here. Um, as you can see, the sky's a bit bluer. You gotta see the blue sky, it was really thick um, in Creston. So, nice to have that fresh air again. Feels good. We are currently in Invimir now. And we're making a nice uh, cauliflower and chickpea curry in the parking lot here. It's a sweet little park. We've got a nice picnic bench we can eat at. You see some paddle boards coming in. So we're making up a chickpea curry. It's got all the veggies in there, chickpea and cauliflower. It's got some peas, um, some carrots, zucchini. It's gonna be delicious. Can't wait. It's a nicer cooking spot than last night. Last night we were swarmed with bugs. Tonight we're not swarmed with anything. We're just eating late again at about nine because we're trying to dodge the heat. Curry's looking good. Sauce is in. Nan's going. Snuck in a quick shower in the, the lake here in Invermere. It was fantastic. Gonna hit the road, drive about an hour, and we're gonna, uh, the plan is to hike um, to Flow Lake tomorrow, which is part of the Rockwall Trail. I think the most popular part up to Flow Lake and back, and that's gonna be awesome. I'm really excited for that. So we're gonna fuel up on some candy on this hour, last hour of our drive. Beautiful sunset uh, while we're driving here um, towards the, the Kootenai National Park. Uh, it was a super fun day, super fun. We visited some hot springs, swam at like four different bodies of water, but uh, it was a great time. The curry's sitting great. So thanks again, uh, thanks again for joining us. Um, give me a like, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate it, and uh, see you next time.